You ready? Oh yeah. I'm starting right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. This okay. is Sanjay. I'm a photographer, visionary of esoteric images. I'm here with one of my uh, models of the 2013 calendar, authentically beautiful. That's what we're standing for. And Kim Simmons. I'm here in Richmond, California. Kim. Kim, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Tell everybody how you feel about being on this project. This is my third edition. Well, first of all, I am honored mm -hmm. to even be included in your third edition. Third edition. I saw your first two calendars. I actually purchased your second one, and I just love the uh, imagery that you had going on. You don't see too many sisters um, rocking their hair, especially bald mm -hmm. and or short, if you don't like mine. <laughs> So it was an absolute privilege and an honor to be included. Cool. Thank you. So tell everybody what is it that you do briefly, um, what, what are your passions, and how does it align with esoteric images? Well, I am a loptician here in the Bay Area, and uh, I have to brag on myself for a little bit and say I'm a, I'm a dang good one, too. Okay. Um, I've done this for about 17 years. Okay. Um, but uh, professionally, I've done it for 11, mm -hmm. and uh, it is my passion. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. Uh, my slogan is transforming the world one nap at a time. Mm -hmm. And I love for, you know, brothers and sisters coming in, uh, you know, they used to have a perm or they used to have this or that, mm -hmm. and they're open-minded and willing to change. And with that change comes, you know, they have to... If face stuff at their job, face stuff with their people, face stuff with their family, but mm -hmm. they're brave enough and willing enough to make that change. And uh, it does line up with your calendar. For me, it does at least. Um, you know, women are brave enough to show their bald heads mm -hmm. um, and bold enough to rock uh, short haircuts and not care what people think. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. Okay. Is there anything that you would like to say to a person that may be struggling with or transitioning from um, chemicals to non-wearing chemicals in their hair? Briefly? Um, Something, words of encouragement, possibly? You know what? Yeah. From, I'll just, for me, just be patient. Mm -hmm. Be patient and don't let other people uh, corrupt what you think or how you think about yourself mm -hmm. or how you look. Um, you, if you know you're beautiful, you know you are. Because I know I'm fine. Can't nobody <laughs> tell me nothing about me. So don't let other people tell you about you. Okay. Just come a little closer and let us see the designs over here. Just kind of like stoop down a little bit. I just want to get a close shot. So can you explain a little bit what this hairstyle is? Because there's a lot going on here. There's some color. <laughs> there's some There's some uh, fade going on. Uh, what, what, what's going on, Kim? Well, the color. <laughs> yes. The color and curl. Yes. I did myself. Mm -hmm. you know, this is... A Napology original. Mm -hmm. My barber Nate mm -hmm. at Nate's House of Hands. Um, I let him do freestyle on me. I said, "Do whatever you want." So he was feeling in a Spider-Man moment. Okay. So I have cobwebs on this side. Okay. See everybody. Got that. Got that. Okay. And I wanted to grow my mohawk back, so he cut that back in for me. Okay. And on the other side is the spider. Okay. Cool. All right. So thank you so much, Kim. We'll talk to you later. Thank you for your time and energy. Peace out, y'all.